Good evening, this is Mrs. Piccinini, and this will be a pre-recorded overview of our MES Back to School Night presentation. There will be a message embedded in the email from Mr. Feldman. These are some photographs of our classroom at room 223 at MES. I'm Mrs. Piccinini, this is my family. My husband and I have three sons. We have um, a sixth grader, a ninth grader, and an 11th grader. We are from Long Island originally, so Mr. Piccinini and I root for mostly New York sports teams, but we're starting to be one over to teams in this area. I have a bachelor's in elementary education, a master's in curriculum and instruction, and a master's in special education. Mrs. Syria is my teaching assistant, and she provides instruction for science and social studies, um, support and word study, and other content areas under my supervision. The most important thing that you'll need in our classroom is our Google Classroom. This is where all of the assignments, recorded lessons, um, dated assignments are going to be found. And if you click on this specific video, I provide a more in-depth overview of our Google Classroom for this year. Your children have daily informational content blocks. Every day there's live lessons in math, reading, writing, and social skills, as well as science and social studies. Responsive Classroom is embedded into every live content lesson. Throughout the year, we will focus on guide and guided and shared reading. Guided reading is targeted to your child's individual benchmarked reading level. Shared reading books are designed to be grade level appropriate and shared as a classroom community. During writing, we will focus on four main pieces over the course of the year, a personal narrative, which we're working on now, a persuasive piece, an informational piece, a biography, and later in the year, as time allows, we will get to a fantasy. You'll notice that many of the assignments that are graded and returned in Google Classwork simply have a 100 on them. And that's because these assignments are used as an exit ticket, essentially, or a type of formative assessment. They're used for me to gauge content remediation and differentiate content. Unit ends assignments or culminating assessments, that would be, for example, a final writing piece, those will be evaluated and recorded in Genesis for the first marking period. I don't believe those grades are visible for parents, but for the second and third trimesters in Evesham, those grades are visible to parents. I typically enter grades in bulk. So for example, that'll mean that a couple weeks go by and you won't see anything updated. And then you'll see a whole bunch of grades get entered, usually on a Saturday or a Sunday. As far as communication and how to help your child at home, I'm really pleased that my parents have been so engaged this year and I'm so appreciative of that. It's always a good idea once a week to just use the classwork tab to see if your child has missing assignments. I would suggest doing that either on Remote Learning Wednesday um, or a Friday. I try and make sure that the due dates in Google Classroom extend through the weekend of whatever week I'm assigning them on and then that gives you an opportunity to be able to check the classwork tab to see if your child has missing assignments and then submit them before the following week. During the day, um, you can see by the schedule that I'm actively engaged with teaching pretty much at all times. There's very little downtime during the school day. I am teaching live lessons to your children. I'm working on lessons with students in the building and engaged in PLCs and learning communities with other teachers. So I check messages very frequently and I reply to all emails as soon as possible, always within 48 hours, generally much less than that. Um, if there was an email that I missed, please follow back with me because there are a lot of email notifications that come through my email in um, from Google and so sometimes I can miss an email. This year, conference signups will be through Genesis. This will be a Google Meet format or phone conference. Um, and if you feel that you prefer a detailed email narrative, I can provide that as well. Something that's really helpful with remote learning would be to eliminate distractions. Wherever possible, try and eliminate your child having their iPad or phone out while I'm teaching a live lesson because I want them engaged with me. 
If you'd like to help build our classroom community, you can click on the link below to complete a friend directory for our class. We're very lucky that one of my students, Stevie's mom, has volunteered to be our room parent this year, and she's going to work on a couple of virtual activities for the kids that will be fun, and we'll see what else we can, we can do within guidelines. There'll be a video embedded for the related arts staff here, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much. Bye.